Quilters Newsletter TV, The Quilters Community is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Robert Kaufman Fabrics, quality fabrics for quilting. Sulky, express yourself with Sulky and create with confidence. And The Warm Company, inspiring products for creative people. Hi, and welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community. I'm Mary-Kate Carpetris, and I'm here again with Patrick Lose, who is our special guest for this 12-part series. And today, Patrick is going to tell us about his Party with Patrick Club, and I can't wait to hear more about it. So can, can you tell us a little bit about it? Sure. Uh, Party with Patrick is a club that originally operated in quilt shops. It was exclusive to quilt shops. Uh, we were at Market, at Quilt Market in Houston in 2008, and I knew that I wanted to start a club uh, for quilt shops to offer to their customers, a class situation. Mm -hmm. and, but I knew it, I wanted to have some sort of a twist to it, so I actually asked uh, shop owners at market what they would like to see in a club. And the first thing that they said to me was that it needed to be a club that was not dependent on uh, a fabric line or you know, something that they wouldn't have to order tons of fabric mm -hmm. into their shop mm -hmm. each month or quarter, how, however often the, the party was going to take place. Um, because in 2008, that's when the economy took such a downturn. I remember. And so I went back home after market and I got to thinking about, you know, the kind of things that, that might be in that economy um, fun for quilters to do. And really what the shop owners wanted to do was just get quilters back into the shop. Mm. Um, they weren't seeing them visiting the shop and, right. you know, shopping, spending money uh, and keeping the shop alive. So it really um, was just a matter of getting them to come in for the class. and. Shop owners knew that once they were in there, they could, you know, show them things and entice them right, into sure. uh, keeping the shop alive and going. So um, I got to thinking about, you know, the last time we had a, a huge depression in the economy, the thing that didn't stop was people were still entertaining themselves and finding ways to be entertained, even though they didn't necessarily have the money to be doing that. You know, you think of the cotton clubs and prohibition and all of those things uh, and the partying. Um, you know, happy days are here again, basically. Mm. All of those, those things I wanted to roll into this club. And so the party theme, that's where that came from. I wanted it to be called Party with Patrick. And every month I would offer um, a different project, uh, some recipes that the shop owners could make, Fun. snacks, yeah, um, to have in the shop during the class okay. period. And uh, I also designed blank stationary um, cards that they could print out and use as many times as they want for their own recipes and stationery, um, you know, all designed in the theme of the That's project. Great. So mm -hmm. the, the first project that came out, I started it, again, my birthday is on St. Patrick's Day, so I have this thing for St. Patrick's yeah. Day in March. And so I wanted the first project to be a placemat for St. Patrick's Day. And honestly, the way that we started the club was to offer this project, uh, you know, for free to the, the shops and let them uh, offer it to their customers and see, you know, what kind of interest there was mm -hmm. so that they knew if the shop was going to be successful with the club. Mm -hmm. So this was the first one um, and it, it kicked off with a bang. People really did like this project and we have a Facebook page for Party with Patrick and the, the people that are in the club and doing the projects are posting pictures of their versions of my designs which that's my favorite thing as a designer in this industry to do is to see what other people yeah. do. Um, it backfires sometimes. I've seen some pretty strange <laughs> things too but but that you know it's it makes it fun yeah. and, and I love that. I don't get to do that very often working in my studio. You right. know. Um, to be able to work directly with uh, the people that belong in the club. And to have Let's that virtual party as well. Oh, you know, yeah. Online, yeah, where people definitely. can gather. Well, exactly, because the, the club has evolved. Um, we're in our fourth year now, and the shop owners uh, that started at the beginning, some of those still remain, but we're now offering the club to retail customers online because so many customers didn't have a shop in their area that they could go That's to, and, and we had kept it exclusive to right. the shop. So we were kind of cutting out a lot of people. Right. And now with the Facebook uh, aspect to the club, people can get together mm -hmm. sort of online and share their projects and their accomplishments and, and things like that online. So mm -hmm. it, it's a great way, you know, I, I always say my motto is kind of quilting and camaraderie. It's, it's not just what, what you do with the, the craft itself, but um, you know, the feeling that you get sharing that craft with other people. Well, that's just so rooted in the tradition of quilting. Oh yeah, that's what we're bees about. And the community yeah. aspect of exactly. it. So it's, it's completely traditional in that respect. Exactly, Love I it. think so too. So th this was a project that was, uh, we offered in January, uh, one of the years, and it's just very simple. And you know, Party with Patrick also uh, 
let me kind of play because I'd use other, this is not fabric that I design, uh, mm -hmm. so I got to use other designers' mm -hmm. fabrics and offer those um, because the club was not dependent on using my fabrics. Right. Um, any of the projects you can uh, pick from your stash mm -hmm. usually. These are very small uh, projects that can be done usually in a class period or an afternoon or evening um, with fabrics from your stash. You don't have to make a right. trip to the shop and buy new fabrics for them. It must be satisfying for you too to be able to design smaller projects, design more of them then. Oh yeah, you know? well, and, and these are the kind of things that, that my daughter and my granddaughters like to have around mm -hmm. so you know I can share them with them and let them use them and this one in particular is one that I designed oh, you know for a grandparent and their grandchild to work on together and it's you know motivational and you know it was a back to school project and uh, my granddaughter Lily just started her first day of kindergarten today so that, that's kind of on my mind and this was you know kind of the thing that you'd want to send a child off to, to their yeah. first day of school yeah. you know with the the idea of dreaming dreaming big so this was another really popular one, uh, the home sweet home. Any, uh, any heart theme, anything that I can do with a heart in it always does well. So, uh, And this was another one, not my line of fabric, right. but I, I really enjoyed uh, pulling those fabrics together for that project. This was one of the earliest projects. I think maybe actually the second one uh, that we offered. It's called Heart to Heart. And we had a contest with this, this particular month. Um, it was called the Battle of the Batty Bridal Veils. And uh, this was a wedding themed uh, project okay. and all of the customers had to make their own wedding veil out of whatever they could find. I mean, we were suggesting toilet paper and chicken wire and uh -huh. bird cages I and things like imagine. that. The woman who won the contest actually carved a sewing machine out of styrofoam. She had it on her head, and the the fabric coming out of from <laughs> under the needle was the veil, you know, in front of her face. It was amazing. I couldn't believe the the trouble that people went to, but we got a lot of laughs out of it. That's for sure. Holiday projects are really my favorite to do. I think most people that know me know that, mm -hmm. uh, uh, especially with quilting celebrations. You know, I'm, I'm always doing holiday projects for that. This one, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, you know, there was always the satin stitched applique aspect, um, or fusible applique. And this one I wanted to do, this is a, finished in a buttonhole or blanket stitch. Mm -hmm. um, but when I got finished, it just needed a little bit more, and I wanted to do some handwork, and I'm really yeah. into the... Um, almost sashiko looking um, hands, hand running stitch mm -hmm. and just a, a contrasting thread. That's a pearl cotton um, that I used. And then embellishing with the buttons. Mm -hmm. I don't do a lot of embellishment, but it just seemed to really fit on this mm -hmm. project. What would you use that for? Um, Ackfeld Manufacturing makes a great 12 inch uh, scroll stand, they call it. And it stands, you know, just on a table. We have one actually in the, the background oh, there. Yeah. yeah, and those this will fit on those. So every month they have something else that they can put in that so stand and nice change it out. it's a decorative little piece. Exactly. Wall hanging or yeah. on one of these stands. Oh, you could, you could definitely put it on a wall mm -hmm. or just on the stand. This is another oh, one. That's cute. The club also, we've developed it into offering machine embroidery because so many people are afraid of doing applique. I'm trying to change their mind, but I can't do it, you know, it's one at a time. Mm -hmm. And so to offer the designs digitized in a format that they can use on their machine, uh, you know, their embroidery machines, mm -hmm they can do all of this applique work without having to you know, maneuver it themselves. The machine, you push a button and walk right, away and it's right. done. Um, so for those, that way we've been able to include a lot more people in the club. This is another one, yes. uh, another digitized design. And all of the designs are at patricklose.com too, so you can go there if you're a machine embroiderer mm -hmm. and, and use the, even if you're not a member of Party with Patrick, you can get some of the embroidery designs for your own projects. Another, another one of the 12 inch square projects that were so popular. And the other thing that we do is a lot of uh, table runners, table mats, um, the scalloped edge mats for back to school and then for uh, New Year's were really popular. Mm -hmm. um, we've done some mini banners. The, one, the projects that are popular and that I hear a lot about, I always redo them again somewhere down the line. So these are very similar. Uh, shapes but just by changing out the appliques you've got right. and you know for people in offices especially this is a nice small piece that they can hang in their office or on their office yeah. door that it's not you know you can get this done in a few hours mm -hmm. easily and I want to show a couple of the more recent projects because Again, we, the, the machine embroidery has just been really popular, so I've been doing a lot more with that. Of course, these are you know, easy enough to do just by fusible 
machine right. applique, you know, do it, do it yourself by hand. Um, but when you have the embroidery files that you can just, you know, tell the machine to do it. This is uh, the most recent one. This is actually our um, August of 2012 project, and that's a, a placemat for Paul. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then this one has, I, I've heard so much about this project. I never um, did much embellishing with the heat set crystals, wow. so I tried this yeah. on this project, and it's been very popular. So I bet. A little bling. Yeah, so that's kind of where the club is now. We do also, uh, we've, we've kind of got a new aspect to the club, and we're doing Party with Patrick at Sea, and we're going on cruises and uh, taking the party to sea. You need a personal assistant, I yeah. think, don't you? Yeah, you want to go along? I do. We might have to do an episode <laughs> on that. <laughs> um, but we did our first one uh, last year, and we're going to be doing another one in April of 2013, a Southern oh, wow. Caribbean cruise. And three days of the cruise, you're out at sea, mm -hmm. so there's not a whole lot to do, and you can spend time in the conference room. At uh, We're working with Royal Caribbean, and, you know, just sew for that entire time mm -hmm. if you want to. Um, do you bring a set amount of patterns with you or do you design anything special? For I, the I design something special yes. for the cruise. So it's it's exclusive to the cruise for that time. Then you know we may release it in a pattern later on. Mm -hmm. But you know, it, it'll probably be something tropical for, for this cruise coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what we're doing with it now. Well that sounds really exciting. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of fun. I, I have a lot of fun with it too, which is even better. <laughs> <laughs> well I bet because again it gives you an opportunity to really, you know, do something quick and small, but it keeps you just designing right. new things. I, I'm constantly, constantly designing because I, I have a block of the month every month. I have party with mm -hmm. Patrick every month. So I'm really kind of cranking these things out, and it, it's a good exercise for my creative mind. And too, if people want to know more, they can go to your website. PatrickLose.com. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for sharing these. These are adorable. Oh, sure. And now I want to make this one in particular. Good. So <laughs> thanks so much for joining us. If you want to view any other episodes, please visit us at QuiltersNewsletter.com. Thanks so much. See you next time. Quilters Newsletter TV, the quilters community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters. Robert Kaufman Fabrics, quality fabrics for quilting. Sulky, express yourself with Sulky and create with confidence. And The Warm Company, inspiring products for creative people.